A lot of people will be coming out for the food, but you also can't have a fair without having some of the rides, correct? We got the Ferris wheel. We got the zipper over there. We do have the tornado. Talk about a ride that will get you dizzy. And then we do have the Moby Dick over there. So people will be packed in line, ready to go on these rides. Now we do have some footage from yesterday on setup crew getting ready and prepared. Now setup crew worked extremely hard at getting everything all geared up. When I was here yesterday, I don't think I saw any of them taking breaks. They really put a lot of hard work and dedication into making sure that everything is ready to go and that people are staying safe. Now, however, that also means making sure the public is staying safe. Guys, I know it sounds like common sense, but accidents do happen, and these rights are not for everybody. So do make sure you put safety first and be aware of your surroundings. If you have kids, make sure to keep an eye out on them. Now, I did talk to one guy setting up and asked his advice on how to stay safe. Here's what he said. Just watch the rides for a little bit, read the signs. Um, ask questions, watch the rides a few times, see if it's comfortable. When other people come off of a ride, look at them and, and see, see how they're, see how they're uh, being seated and, and, and what the people are doing and, and just make sure you're comfortable with the ride before you go on it. The other thing is, is, is um, ask questions and we'll do everything you can if, if, uh, to, to, to help out however we can. And above all, just make sure to have fun. Again, the fair opens today from noon to midnight. If you can't make it, you still have until August 6th, and we will continue our coverage of the fair tonight and into next week.